there is indeed quite some uh, debate uh, on this question for obvious reasons. Um, um, and this debate has only uh, increased in intensity with the new president, with Donald Trump, uh, with the idea of, of building the wall, dividing uh, and, and the United States and, and, and Mexico. Um, at the same time, uh, I am um, teaching and living uh, in a state where um, um, the um, number of um, uh, people with um, Hispanic backgrounds is, is huge. Um, 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 it's becoming uh, the largest, actually, the largest ethnic group in California. Um, um, I'm also teaching on a campus where uh, we see a steady increase in students who happen to have parents from Mexico, from Guatemala, from Nicaragua, uh, and, and who were born and grew up in the United States. Um, 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 some of them um, citizens, uh, other um, um, students who, um, um, who um, um, entered the United States illegally. Uh, but you know, have been living all their lives in 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 in, in the state of California, um, and who are undocumented uh, students, um, who are very nervous about the current situation for obvious reasons, right? Um, um, so when you ask me about uh, the debate, um, it's of course a very polarized uh, debate, uh, a very polarized debate uh, with very extreme views on on both sides, right? Building the wall. Or, or, and then um, others essentially claiming the exact opposite, that we should just have open borders and anyone who, who, who lives in Mexico or Guatemala should be able to come and live in the United States. So very, you know, very extreme positions. Um, and and uh, as always, when you have those extremes, it's not always easy to find that middle ground, right? And, 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 to, and to see um, where we could find a workable solution um, in a way, uh, a challenge I think that also the EU is, is struggling with. Um, 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 what we try to do from, from our perspective uh, at the Institute is um, to make sure that we present different perspectives uh, on the debate and that we do not limit it to just one single perspective and then claim to be that's the good perspective and all the others are wrong. Right? Um, I do believe that it is important to look at it from a variety of perspectives and, and be open for different ideas um, and, and to see if somehow we can find this middle way and, 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 um, and um, um, find solutions that, that are workable. Um, um, but it is of course, it is of course um, um, a very um, tense uh, debate sometimes. Um, which is not necessarily a bad thing, because um, it is um, sometimes necessary uh, to bring in perspectives that, that you don't necessarily agree with, um, but that also allow you to see things from a different angle. Um, so this is something we, we try to promote um, the best we can. Um, um, and we of course hope that, that those tensions will um, gradually um, diminish and that we will uh, be able to find a solution um, whereby, um, on the one hand, uh, we will be able to preserve um, our values and, and, and we will be able to continue to help people in need, um, but at the same time also you know, make it clear that we can't just have um, completely open borders and anyone who wants can just come and, and, and live either in the European Union or in the United States. Um, um, and to somehow work towards, you know, a workable solution. Um, and if only we can contribute a little bit by working with those young students who come to our events and who participate in these discussions, this is already, I would say, a small but important step forward.